Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on Dynamics 365 customer service. In this video, we are going to discuss on queue management. We will see how to set up a queue, how to create uh, queues and uh, how to use queues while effectively managing the case records. And then we will see what are all the different types of queues, how to create public queue and how to create a private queue. And then we will see how to add case to queue. By clicking on add to queue button and then we will see different queue views available in the system using which how the customer service representatives or customer service agents will be able to do different queue operations like pick release and remove okay with this we will move to customer service admin center app and customer service workspace app to see how to create a queue and how to use the queue within customer service workspace app. Now I am in customer service admin center. To create a queue, we need to go to queues under customer support group. Okay. And then from here, I need to click on manage under basic queues. Here I will be seeing all the queues that I have created. Currently, I have created two queues. One is priority queue and the other one is normal queue. Okay. I will open priority queue. So here we have a type column in this drop down we have two values public and private if i set a queue type as private then it will behave as a private queue on the other hand this normal queue i have set it as a public queue i have set the type as public the difference here is whenever i create a public queue i will not be seeing the members tab here but if i create a private queue then I will be seeing the members. Whenever I create a private queue, I should mandatorily add the members to this queue. Only the members of this queue will be able to access the queue items. On the other hand, for public queue, we don't have to enter any members. All the service agents, all the service representatives of the organization will be able to access the queue items of public queue. Okay. To create any queue, we just need to click on this new button we need to name the queue and then we need to select the type as public or private only these two things are important while creating a queue and whenever we create any queue initially there will not be any queue item queue item will be blank for any queue and whenever a new case record is added to a queue at that time a new queue item record will be created okay now i hope you understood how to create a queue and what are all the different types and what will happen when we set it as a public queue or private queue okay with this we will move to our case and we will assign a case to any of the queues okay to access case records we need to go to customer service workspace app from here we need to select cases and currently i have some five cases so what i will do right i will assign one case to a priority queue and then I will assign another queue to normal queue. And then we will see how the queue items are created. Okay. Before that, <coughs> I have logged into the system as service person 3. Okay. And if I go to my priority queue, I can see service person is a member of priority queue. For now, what I will do, right? I will remove this service person 3 from this priority queue. Service person 3 is now removed from this priority queue. I will open broadband connection issue case and intermittent connectivity issue case. Okay. Now, what I will do, right? I will assign one case broadband connection issue case to priority queue. Okay. To assign any case record to queue from case page, I need to click on add to queue. Here in this pop up, I need to select the queue name. Okay, so I am going to assign this particular case to priority queue. Okay. And similarly, I will assign the other case to normal queue. Okay, by clicking on add to queue button. Now, 
now from the case page i can see this queue item details so the first case is assigned to priority queue and the second case is assigned to normal queue okay now our case is created and we have assigned the case to a queue now we will see how the customer service representatives or service agents will be able to consume these cases from their queue page okay for that within customer service workspace app itself we have something called queues so earlier from customer service admin center app we navigated to queues page and we created the actual queue records in the system at the backend level but to see the queue records at ui we need to access it from customer service workspace here i need to click on queues now it will take me to queues view page okay so based initially by default it will select items i am working on so if i am a customer service agent and i have already picked some cases or picked some queue items those items will be listed for me here but for now i have not selected any queue item so that's why this particular view is showing blank okay and one more difference here is if you go to any other uh, crm view page you will be only seeing the view name okay but when you come to this queue page you will be seeing different view names as well as you will be able to select the queue name as well here okay for now since i have not picked any uh, queue item for now i will just click on all items or all cases okay and the queue here selected as queues i am a member of if you remember i already removed my username that is service person 3 from this members list of priority queue okay and if you see the normal queue normal queue is a public queue and there are no members associated with public queue that's why for this particular option queues i am a member of i am not seeing any record here but i have option to select all queues or normal queue because normal queue is a public queue i will be able to access the queue even though i am not a member of it okay now if i click on normal queue i will be able to see the queue item and currently for this queue item you can see all the details what is the case that is associated with and at what point of time the particular case got entered into this queue and i can see the queue name and also who is currently working on this queue item or who is currently working on this case and currently this worked by column is blank because no one has picked this queue item okay now i hope you understood how queues and queue items are working now what i will do right i will just go back to my priority queue and here i will add service person 3 service person 3 is now added as a member of priority queue here till now you are not seeing the priority queue in the list right the reason is priority queue is a private queue and earlier the service person 3 was not a member of this priority queue that is a private queue now this service person 3 is added as a member if i refresh this page this app I will again go back to queues page in the views i will select all items here you can see for this option itself queues i am a member of itself i am able to see the first case that i have assigned to priority queue earlier i was not at all seeing this queue item itself the reason is this particular case was assigned to priority queue earlier it was a private queue but service person 3 was not a member but after adding service person 3 as a member of this queue i am able to see this queue uh, see this case under queue view okay and similarly i will be able to see the priority queue option as well here earlier it was not visible now it is visible for me okay here we have multiple options whether i need to go for any particular queue to select queue item or i can also select all queues to select the queue item or to pick a queue item okay and now since both the cases are assigned to queue i am seeing both the cases and for one of the case i am a member and the other one is a uh, public case that's why i am seeing the other queue item also and currently worked by is blank for both the queue items now what i will do right i will select one of the case item or one of the queue item and as a service person i will click on pick button okay the moment i click on pick button it will ask me whether this particular queue item should be removed from that particular queue or it should continue in that queue okay 
So the default option is no. In case if I want to remove this queue item and I want to start working on this case alone, then I can select yes. Okay. For now, I will just go with no and I will click on pick button. The moment I click on pick, pick button, you can see the worked by column is automatically populating with the current user who actually picked this queue item. Okay. Now, if I click on this, it will open the actual case record for me. As a service agent, I will start working on this case record and I will be able to resolve this. Okay. But while working on this case, I, if I notice that I will not be able to resolve this case or someone uh, else should work on this particular case, what I can do right from the same queue page itself, I just need to select the same queue item that I am currently working. So for now, okay, I am selecting it from uh, all items, right? The moment I picked this particular queue item, it will automatically come to items I am working on. So when I start this demo, at the time this was the default view. At that time, there was no record available under this view. But now, after I picked this particular queue item and after selecting this items I am working on queue, now I can see the queue item that I am working on. Okay. Now, if I find this particular case cannot be worked by me, if someone else should work, then I just need to select it and I can click on release button. Now, if I go back to all items, I will be seeing the same queue item here, but now the worked by column is blank. Earlier it was showing my name, service person three. Now the particular uh, worked by column is blank. Okay, which means no one is currently working on this queue item. Okay, and similarly, you, we can take this one as an example. So this is the case broadband connection issue, and currently this particular case is assigned to priority queue. But after the evaluation, if we notice that this particular case is not eligible for priority queue. This is not actually a priority issue. Then what we can do, right? We can select this queue item. We just need to remove. This particular queue item will be removed from that queue itself. Now, if I go back to my case page, if I select this broadband connection issue case under queue item details, it was not showing any, it is not actually showing any queue. Earlier it was showing the priority queue, but now it is not showing any queue, which means the particular case or queue item is now released from that. Sorry, it, it is now removed from that queue. So it's not currently in any active queue. Okay. I hope you completely understood the queue management functionality of Dynamics 365 customer service. I would request you to try this functionality from your side in case if you find any issue or any query you can put it in the comment i will check it out and i will give you the response okay thank you for watching this video see you in next video